Is it like following Phil? I mean, Phil's obviously a little bit quieter. Kind yeah. of like, has he changed at all in terms of like picking up his voice, or is he still nah. kind of the guy you follow? Now, nah, Phil's always Phil's always been uh, that you know that quiet leader, but th that's a form of leadership that he has. He's not going to be. I, I feel like there's multiple ways that you can lead a, a running back group or a team, and. Uh, Feels just a unique way of leading, and I, I enjoy it. So um, I definitely, he definitely leads us all differently. But um, he's he's always going to be a great leader, regardless. Is it just like going the way he goes from drill to drill, or like how he does the drill, or like what is it that you're following, or kind of? Oh yeah, just uh, how he talks to us, the drill to drill, uh, hey, encouraging, all that kind of stuff. Uh, watching how he runs, you know, teaching us techniques and stuff like that. So, for you, a kid coming out of Utah, mm -hmm. everybody, you know, maybe they don't think football in Utah is very good. You've always kind of had that chip on your shoulder. Did mm -hmm. you bring that chip here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows I played in Georgia, too. Me, sure. Me and Phil were the top two rushers in Georgia. I don't think a lot of people know that. But, uh, yeah, he, me and him were – I was one and he was two in 7A. And – uh, obviously, I brought that into Utah. I kind of showed them that, like, hey, uh, we, physical physical running backs uh, can play in Utah too. So uh, obviously, Utah football is not as bad as people think it is. Uh, they have a lot of great linemen that come out of there. Penny Sewell, uh, he's he was a, a great uh, lineman, came out of there. But Utah football is not as bad as people think it is. You just got to watch it. For you, with with your dad, the way that he played, mm -hmm. always with a chip on his shoulder. Do you have a little bit of that in you too? Oh yeah, with him, especially being sh a shorter linebacker. <laughs> uh, but that's that's just what my dad. My dad always talks to me about that stuff, and how he how he was always the underdog, and he had that mentality. He kind of just transferred that over to me, and it, like I was telling uh, him that you know. Linebackers hate tackling shorter, bigger running backs. Like they hate that. So I use that to my advantage because my dad has the mindset of a linebacker, and I don't have the mindset of a running back. So I just get ideas from him. You had one game last year, I think maybe near midfield, where a linebacker or safety tried to square you up. You just kind of oh, yeah, lowered yeah, your shoulder. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, you yeah, ran yeah. him over. Yeah. Do you love that part of the game, I delivering the blow? Yeah, yeah, because that makes that, that makes it easier in the, uh, as the game goes. Obviously, I don't. Really, I didn't ever got the opportunity to like continue as the game going. But you'll see next season. Like as the game goes, they're gonna get tired and tired of tackling me. So it gets easier and easier for me. I guess that Davos called you the hammer before. Like is, yeah, is that, hammerhead. Hammerhead. Or, <laughs> yeah. Does that only here or is that? Pre yeah. No. My uh, well, Coach Riley actually started that. So uh, and I guess Coach Sooning and everybody else started calling me that. So. Uh, ever since I started trucking people and running over people, I mean, that's just that's part of my game. I'm starting to implement a little looseness now. Uh, now I'm getting, you know, more time. But, um, yeah, that's part of it. Jay Haynes is a guy we haven't seen as much of. Obviously, he's been hurt a little bit. But, you know, Coach Winnie was saying, you guys have seen him, obviously, in practice. Mm -hmm. What does he have that's different or unique that he can bring to this room? Or yeah, that, one thing about Jay Haynes, he's very smooth when he runs. He's very elusive. Uh, it's kind of like, I don't know, he's a tall running back, but he's like slick, if that makes sense. And he's really good at, uh, you know, catching out of the backfield as well. For you, you know, this year, obviously everybody likes to talk about the freshmen or whatever who's coming in. But are you looking at this like there's a job that's open and mm -hmm. I want to go take it? That's exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. Um, you know, everybody's getting the opportunity. Uh, coach told us that spot's open, so I'm going to do everything that I can to compete for that job. Um, you know, there's no intimidation. There's no jealousy in the room at all. And, uh, you know, we all just work as a unit. We're all going to do our best. So I believe that if I'm doing my best, everything's going to take care of itself. Is it fun to think about Big Phil Moffa crashing into him for a while, and then they bring you in and you start oh, yeah. crashing into him? Do you talk about that? Oh, yeah, I think about that all the time. I don't ever talk about it, but uh, I know – they're going to feel Phil Moffat, then they're going to feel Keith Davis Jr. So that's what you got to think about it. I guess the offensive line obviously has a new coach, and not Coach Luke. Like, have you noticed any differences in them? Obviously, you're running behind them, like in terms of the way they Oh, yeah, playing. they start picking me up now. Uh, everybody's more energized and more hype. Um, coach Luke just brings a different energy. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, and everybody's starting to run downfield. Everybody's just, you know, just more energy, if that makes sense. So I guess after you run somebody over, it's like much Oh, yeah, they just start picking you up, yeah. Um, what have you seen about David, seen from David since he arrived in January? 
Oh, David's a great runner. Uh, I feel like as he as he continues to go, especially uh, seeing out there today, he's very powerful. He's very fast. Uh, once I feel like he's got a lot of good track speed. So like once the lights in front of him, he's gonna be gone. I got big. For you, going back, did you grow up a Clemson fan because of your dad? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I was I was a Clemson fan. Uh, I was also a Michigan fan growing up. But, like, uh, obviously seeing my dad, you know, play Clemson and coming to Clemson at a young age, I've been coming to the football, Devil Swinging football camp since I was in third grade. So I've always been a big fan of here. Um, and once I got that offer, it was just like, yeah, I, I think I'm going to come here for sure. Did you ever want to play linebacker? Did did your dad ever want to play running back? Yeah, my dad was. He was pretty dad, good in high school, right? Yeah, like, my dad was a running back uh, when he came here. But then I think as soon as as soon as soon like he got it in practice, they put him at linebacker for a little bit, and then like he knocked up the quarterback, and they said, no, you're not going back to running back. So, uh, But I did play running back and linebacker in middle school, and I just switched straight to running back because that's what I wanted to do. My dad w didn't think I was going to be a, a running back for very long, but he, I eventually convinced him that like I'm a true running back, so I just stuck with it. I guess why were you partially a Michigan fan? Oh, well, just playing video games, honestly. I just like their uniforms and stuff. It, it was a young, it was like a younger me thing. That's pretty much what it was. But it's, I mean, I've always loved Clemson anyways, but those are like my top two teams. I guess speaking of video games, you play a lot of college football. <laughs> yes, yes. I feel so like what is that going to be like having your name and... So, a dream, that is a dream of mine. I always wanted to be in a video game, and it's exciting to see that I'm going to be here to witness myself in a video game, given that it's been like 10 years since they haven't had it. So I'm excited about that. Are you someone that's going to be very interested in like what kind of ratings they give you as far as like yeah. power and stuff Yeah, like yeah. That? I'm going to make sure. Hopefully they update it. I'm pretty sure they're going to start me up because they haven't seen a lot of me. But uh, as I you know, continue to play, hopefully those ratings will go up. Yeah, I think Wade even said that yesterday. It could kind of be a motivator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how much do you think you'll look at those and say, like, I can build these? Mm -hmm. Like, how much is that a, like a, a motivating factor, do you think, for players, not even just yourself? Oh, no. I mean, it's not going to, like, I'm football, honestly. Like, just playing football is obviously the main motivation. It's just a video game. But, like, uh, that's all, that's, you know, this is more entertainment than anything, seeing that.